Hello. Welcome to National Voter Registration Day, NVRD, virtual training. You are participating in a national holiday. Congratulations. This training will consist of four modules, each lasting approximately 10 to 15 minutes. If you do not recognize me, I am Susan B. Anthony, and the League of Women Voters conjured me back from the dead to facilitate this training as I could not participate in the live training. This journey will be enlightening for me as well as you, as I imagine much has changed since I submitted a paper ballot in 1872. That resulted in a trial and a guilty verdict for illegally voting. But it did not deter me from continuing with my 50 year struggle to obtain suffrage for women. And this never could have been accomplished without the assistance of thousands of volunteers all across this great nation. So on their behalf and with gratitude from the League of Women Voters, I congratulate you for stepping up to educate, assist, and encourage citizens to register to vote on this national holiday. As we proceed through the training, I will be making reference to things of which I have no real understanding. Things like PowerPoint slides, and electronic devices and links to websites. I have to trust that you know what I'm talking about. When we look at the slides, I will give you a moment to read the slide and then I will make a comment about it. You are not expected to know everything there is to know about voting and voter registration you will probably only remember a little bit about what you see and hear during this training, and that's fine because there is a plethora of resources available to you. Two of those resources are on the bottom of this slide. One is the League website specific to NVRD. And the other is the telephone number for the Saratoga County Board of Elections. Well, enough about all of that. Let's go forward with my motto in mind. Failure is impossible. You know your body and you should be aware of any voter registration day that you are in 2021 I is September 28th. A pandemic in this country and that one of the ways to determine if you might be ill is to take your temperature. You might want to consider doing that first thing in the morning. The other two items for getting ready are preparation. You want to have available your captain's telephone number and the telephone number of the Board of Elections on the bottom of this slide. You could enter them into your cell phone or do what I would do. Write them on a piece of paper and have them handy. Now this is an item of clothing that I am not familiar with, but it does look much more comfortable than the clothing that we had to wear, including 25 pounds of undergarments. I'm going to assume that the mask is for your protection because of the pandemic and not to disguise yourself. The early bird catches the worm, though I don't recommend looking for those slimy creatures. Rather, look for the decorated table laden with supplies. 
If you should arrive and there's an empty table, do not panic. It simply means that you were so prompt, you arrived ahead of your captain. There's a list of all of the supplies at the bottom of this slide, and we will be reviewing them together as we go forward. But you do not need to be worried about having that list, as it is your captain's responsibility to provide them and replenish them if necessary. This is a list of some of the miscellaneous supplies and also what you would need for setting up the table. If you should be one of the first ones to arrive, set up the table. I recommend looking for the tablecloth first. My mother's advice was presentation is important. Now this is a list of the supplies that you will use most often. And there should be many, uh, a good quantity, good quantity of each of them, except for the registration manual. There's only going to be one of those and we'll talk more about that coming up. Now, the large envelope, this is what it looks like. It may be nondescript, but it's very, very important. It starts out the day empty, but as you progress through the day, you will be putting into it completed voter registration forms and absentee ballot applications entrusted to you. Please do not lose track of it. Your captain will retrieve it at the end of the day and someone will hand deliver it to the Board of Elections. Now, your manual, it is a very valuable resource as you will see. This is what it looks like. It's 32 pages of information. So if you do not wish to use a lot of paper and ink to print a copy, you could simply go to the website and peruse the manual. This way you will be familiar with its contents. Trust, there will be a hard copy of it at your table. Let's take a look at what you'll find inside. As you can see, there is plenty of information that should address any questions you have. Hopefully this will give you peace of mind. When you're peru perusing the manual, check out this website. There's important information for voters to know about, locations, dates, and the fact that there is early voting in New York State. Even more information at your fingertips. I recommend checking out the helpful websites on page 28. This way you will know their contents. These are brochures that you may distribute to people who have questions about these specific circumstances. This is what they look like. Don't be afraid to review them yourself. You may distribute the I Pledge to Vote cards 
and also the stickers to people who might be interested in having them. Regarding Donate for Life, we will go over that in more detail in Module 2 when we review the voter registration form. These are the pins. Decorate yourself. This is the tally sheet for all of the individuals who wish to have a reminder to vote. Someone will contact them. And this is the tally sheet that we use to record all of your interactions with individuals and the nature of that interaction. The league compiles this information from all of the locations and it's a direct measure of our success. So we're going to ask you to be as diligent as possible to complete this form. These packets are for the individuals who do not wish to leave their horseless carriage that day. You could pass one through an open window. I recommend refraining from throwing them as you may injure someone with a flying pen. Congratulations, that was module one. On uh, behalf of the League of Women Voters, I thank you again for taking the time to one, help us National on Voter September Registration Day is September 28th. I'll see you again in module two.